It was a pleasant summer evening, and the very last rays of sunshine were falling on the forest. Eric got off the car, grabbed his flashlight and his camera, and felt how the animals responded to his presence. Crickets, owls, and who knows what other creatures. But that's what was exciting about it, not knowing what he would photograph that night. He was filled with excitement, as that was the first time he would go out to the forest in a very long time. Even though it was pretty close to his house, he had been way too busy working to visit it until now. Once his feet touched the soft ground of the place, he immediately felt the enthusiasm of taking pictures again. He walked through the trail, getting more and more deeply into the dense forest. He wasn't scared, as he had done this many times before. He walked quietly, being careful about not making noise with his steps and stopped when, in the distance, he heard the murmur of an animal. An owl, perhaps? <laughs> what a good start! He kept walking towards the source of the murmur, which started to get louder. But Eric's enthusiasm started to wane the closer he got, as he started to realize that sound wasn't coming from an owl. It was way too grating. Suddenly, silence took over, and even the bugs seemed to stop making sounds. That point of the forest was denser and darker than any other, and Eric started to get nervous. A small drop of sweat ran over his forehead while his eyes fixated on a very dark point in the bushes. Suddenly, a strange and thunderous noise started up, and it was much louder than the previous one. That noise seemed to be getting deep into Eric's ears, stopping him from thinking clearly. And it was almost hurting him too. He saw how a few meters from him, the top of the trees started to shake violently. He then felt footsteps getting closer and closer. In a glimpse of lucidity, Eric took out his camera, activated the flash, pointed it to the focus of all that commotion, and took a picture. He didn't see anything strange on the camera's screen, and the flash didn't produce much light either. The thunderous noise stopped once again, as well as those strange steps. In their place, he started to hear what seemed to be a radio signal. Eric thought that was weird, but also felt relieved, as it seemed he wasn't alone. Maybe a neighbor decided to have a walk in the forest, he thought. He lowered his camera and got closer. He advanced a couple of meters, getting closer and closer. He took out his flashlight, and even though he pointed it everywhere, he didn't see anybody. The sound stopped once again, and something in front of him startled him. A figure as tall as the nearby trees firmly moving towards him. Eric, filled with panic, ran quickly to hide in the bushes. He pointed his flashlight, and he saw it. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. In front of him was an extremely tall and thin figure. Its skin had an unpleasant texture and color, and you could almost see its skeleton through it. It seemed to have wires around its neck, but the most terrifying thing about this creature was without a doubt its head. It had two metallic sirens, and although it seemed to not have eyes, it did have a mouth with sharp and pointy teeth, as well as a long serpent-like tongue. Without thinking it twice, Eric grabbed his camera and took a picture. He turned pale when this monster started to make strange noises again. The sounds blended with each other, and although Eric thought he heard human voices among those sounds, he couldn't understand them. He had no time to waste. Whatever that thing was, he had to escape now. He turned around and started running, but the monster found him. The noise coming from the monster's sirens got louder and louder as it chased Eric. He managed to get into his car, but it was too late, as the creature was only a few steps from it. The noise was so loud that it became unbearable, and soon enough, Eric felt his eardrums burst and started getting clogged by the bleeding. The creature advanced towards him and destroyed Eric's soft tissues with a blast of its otherworldly noise. Eric fell to the ground, noticing the blood in his eyes and gums, knowing that was his end. But, to his surprise, the monster left him there, dying. It then headed downhill, where it had an entire town ready to listen to its macabre music. Siren Head is a fictional creature created by the Canadian artist Trevor Henderson, author of other monsters such as Cartoon Cat and Longhorse. 
Siren Head is a 12-meter tall skeletal creature with disproportionately long limbs and mummified skin. Its head is composed of two huge sirens capable of imitating radio transmissions, human voices and other sounds. Inside of them, there is a mouth with a long tongue it uses to gobble up its victims. This creature is usually not spotted in populated areas, but in more remote places. It hides itself very well among the trees and that's why many times people don't notice its presence. It attracts its victims using the sounds it emits and then kills them using extremely loud sound blasts. All of Siren Head's victims have been found bleeding from the ears, eyes and gums. And it spends most of the time standing still, but when it needs to, it can move very fast. Siren Head shows a certain degree of intelligence and some suspect it might be the last creature of its kind. It recently started killing bigger groups of humans, which shows that its thirst for blood is ever increasing. So, be very careful when going out to the forest attackers and be aware of anything you might be hearing. Or Siren Head could get you too. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!